Hello friends, welcome back to my iFoc YouTube channel. Hope you are good. Friends, today I'm going to show you that how to set two column paper for any publications. Friends, for different publications, there are different settings. But here, I have shown the basic common things of every publications. So, to know clearly and easily how to set two column paper for publications, please watch the whole video and if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe now and press the bell icon to get next video notifications. Friends, to stay tuned with me, please follow my Facebook page. Now I'm going to start main work. Friends, this is my Microsoft Word document and I have written all the text. Friends, now I'll set this documents two column paper for publications. Friends, for this, there is some rules and regulations. I'll show you. Like a page setup, I'll do one inch from top, bottom, left and right side. And the paper size will be A4 and all fonts will be Times New Roman and the title will be 18 bold center, author will be 12 bold center, address will be 10 center, font 10 center and abstract will be 8 justified, font will be 8 and it will be justified and introduction will be font 10 in two column and single line space. So friends for this first I'll make page setup so go on the documents. Friends you can make it before writing the text or you can make after writing the text whatever you want. So now I'll make page setup. Friends, to use shortcut key to bring page setup dialog box, you have to press Alter P. Then you have to lift the button and you have to press S P. And you'll see page setup dialog box will appear here my friends. Or my friends, in another way you can bring page setup dialog box. You have to go on layout then simply you have to click on here on page setup on drop down sign here my friends. You have to click on here then you will get this dialog box. Now my friends, I want to make like one centimeter from each side. So I want to make one, here is one also and here will be one and here also will be one. After that, simply have to click on OK. So click on OK my friends and see from each side there is a one centimeter. Friends, I'll bring again page setup dialog box, page setup dialog box for this I have to press Alt P then I have to lift the button and I have to press S P see the dialog box appear then you have to click on paper and you have to select a4 sizes my friends already it is selected a4 size then simply you have to click on ok done after that my friends i have to do this one all fonts times new roman right so i have to go on the text then simply i have to press ctrl d to bring font dialog box ctrl d right then you have to select times new roman and after that you have to click on ok Done, my friends. Friends, before doing that, you have to click on Ctrl A to select all. Then you have to press Ctrl D, my friends. After that, you have to write here Times New Roman. This one. Then you have to click on OK. Done. And after that, has written title will be 18 bold center, right? So I have to go on the text. This is the title, right? This one title. It will be 18 bold center. So after selecting, I have to press Ctrl D. It will be times new roman and 18 bold right it will be bold and the font size will be 18 this one right after that i have to click on ok to make it center i have to press ctrl e my friends see now it is on center so go on here so title 18 bold center has been finished now i have to make author 12 bold center right so go on the text this on the author 12 bold center right so I have to bring the font dialog box, I have to press Ctrl D. Then my friends you can see times new Roman has been selected and I have to select the bold and I have to select 12 because it was 12 bold center right. So I have to click on OK and to make it center I have to press Ctrl E. See my friends now it is on center right. Now I have to go on address. So go on the text. Address is trend center. It is regular right. See. So go on the text. Trend center. Select, then press Ctrl D, then you have to select 10, the font size, and it will be regular. And after that, you have to click on OK. And it will be on center, so I have to press Ctrl E. See my friends, down, right? So friends, like this, if you want, you can make the setting like that. After that, I have to go on abstract. See what is written over there? Abstract will be 8, justified. So go on text, abstract will be 8, justified, right? Select the abstract. Then I have to press Ctrl D to bring the font size. It will be 8, right? The font size it will be 8 and 
it will be justified and it will be regular font style so click on ok and I have to make it justify right friends to make it justify you have to click on home then simply you have to click on here or you have to press ctrl j so I want to press ctrl j my friends from the keyboard and see it is unjustified right now go on here what is written over there now my friends introduction will be 10 font size in two column single line space right 10 in two column and single line space so go on introduction my friends from introduction to end it will be same right so keep on the cursor point left side of the introduction and after that you have to press ctrl shift and you have to press and button from your keyboard and all the text will be selected so go on the top and my friends for single line space you have to press ctrl 1 now it is a single line space right and after that simply you have to click on layout then you have to column after that you have to select two column my friends so click on here and see here is two column from introduction right see my friends see has two column one column is here and another one is here right you can see here two column so friends like this if you want you can set two column paper for publications friends to set two column paper for publications if you face any problem feel free to ask me in comment box i'll try to give answer as soon as possible friends if this video helpful to you please like share comment and especially subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get next video notifications thank you for watching hope so next time i'll come with another exciting video till then take care Bye-bye.